We learned about the Uri Bladder. First, the Uri Bladder is a three-sided three pyramid with four surfaces, four angles, three attached structures and one ligament. First, this, the surfaces. We have the superior surfaces, the two inferior lateral surfaces and one posterior surface. Then the four, ang four angles. We have the anterior angle, the inferior angle which is the neck, And two posterior superior angle. The four, uh, the three attached tubular structures are the two ureters attached at the posterior superior angle. These are the ureters. And one we have a urethra at, at the neck, at the neck of the urinary bladder. We have one ligament here, which is located at the anterior angle which is known as median umbilical ligament. Allah will our hearts all over the world tonight. So there's hearts all over the world tonight. Okay, now we move on to the interior of the bladder. In the interior of the bladder, we can see that most of the part is uh, we have we call this ruji. Ruji. Then if we look more downwards to, uh, in the urinary bladder, we can see a part a devoid of ruji. This area devoid of ruji is known as the ur urinary trigon. It is a smooth surface even when the bladder is empty. Uh, it differs in origin because it uh, is originated from the mesoderm. In the, in the trigon, we have a muscle known as a superficial trigonal muscle. This muscle is used to empty, help empty closure of the urethric orifice. The relations of the surfaces. First, we move to the relation of the superior surfaces. In male and females, the common uh, relations are superior vesicular artery, the peritoneum, and pulse of ileum. In male, we have the rectal vesicular pouch of peritoneum and pelvic sigmoid colon. In female, we have utero vesicular vesicular pouch of peritoneum and anterior wall of pandas and body of uterus. We continue to the relations of the inferior lateral surfaces. Anteriorly, we have the pubic bone in front and we have the rectal pubic space. In the rectal pubic space, we have fats and ligaments. Two ligaments that uh, differ in male and female. One in male, that is the pubo-prostatic ligament. And in female, we have the pubo vesical ligament. The posterior relations uh, of the inferolateral surface is the obturator muscle, the uh, obturator internus muscle, obturator vessels and nerve, and levator and eye muscles. Lastly, we go to the posterior relations. The posterior relations in male, we have we have the ampulla of vas, two seminal vesicles, and uh, the rectum behind, and we also have the covering rectal vesicle pouch, peritoneum. In female, we have the vagina. Vagina here, the cervix, and also the anterior vaginal fornix. That's all for the surface. Move to the arterial supply for the urinary bladder. Firstly, for the arterial supply, uh, we must remember the formula is semoid. S for superior vesicle artery. I for inferior vesicle artery, N for middle rectal artery, O for obturator vessels, and lastly, I for the inferior gluteal artery. And then for the venous drainage, 
it drains to the vesical venous plexus, which then drains to the vesicoprostatic venous plexus, and then it continues to drain to the internal iliac vein. I'm into you, my lord. No one else to do with every test you put me through. And then for the lymphatic drainage, uh, the lymphatic vessel travel with the blood vessel to reach the internal iliac lymph node and then it go to the para For motor supply, we have uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic supply. For sympathetic, uh, the preglanglionic nerve cell, it lies in the L1 and L2 spinal cord segments. And for parasympathetic, it originates from S2, S3 and S4 and reach the ureter which the ureter through the pelvic splenic nerve. The sensory supply is carried by a parent pain nerve fiber which ascends with the sympathetic system. It's all over the world tonight What can I do? So the referred vein is felt in the dermatome of L1, L2 which uh, consists of the pubic region, groin, anterior external genital area and anterior type. Uh, 